Stephen Sassenax on stage and the Saints of Andrew and George represented there in the cross and the blue and white cross of Scotland, the red and white cross of England and uh, at the end of the day, Sid, a very important game at Arts Group 4, both of these uh, players have won 6-5, absolutely deadlocked at the top of the group, something's got to give today, England and Scotland against England and Scotland, where's your money pal? Well, uh, as a man of great erudition in the finer arts of darts and such things, uh, a little myth has just crossed my mind, the first pair. Jamie and Della were played on to a jig, a jock jig. But the Flower of Scotland, that wonderful tune, is a lament for the lads who fell the finest of Scotland 600 years ago. That could be an omen. Jockey and Phil came on to a lament. <laughs> what you have to remember is that uh, Taylor's ancestor was there too, and he was on the winning side. Well, there you go, folks. <laughs> you get the historical context as well as the sporting drama. Live on Sky. Here's Della, battering in the practice darts, and uh, here we have the checkout so far. Uh, oh, spot on. That's not to be seen 100%. Uh, shooting out from uh, Spielek and Warner. Uh, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. The very best of all now. 37-5, not leg, bad. Probably Jamie be better in this. Throw. Might have to be better. Whoever is the conqueror. So, the darts with Harvey and Taylor. Away we go in what should be an enthralling encounter. Don't leave your seat. Stay with Sky Sports right through the afternoon. 41. What a way to start. Yes, some years ago, people said when the telly, telly was dropping darts that there was going to be a total eclipse of the dart. But thanks to Sky Sports, the game's never been stronger. 41. Here's Keith Magdala. Wait, if Paul, if Paul McGascoyne can Steve. come up here and suck it to him, <laughs> I can't feel the darkness. Well, we've got Gaza, we've got Waza. Not in this game. 140! Now, yesterday, a Jockey Wilson ton and a Jockey Wilson 140 was like anybody else's 180. The crowd really rose to it. This fella, too. And one has to say that uh, Jockey was the, uh, the slack part of the combination last time out. Uh, Taylor did the business with a, a, couple of, uh, a couple of 180s against Justice and Burroughs, uh, and they took it 6-5. So uh, he will probably continue this kind of form. He is the world number one. 100! So uh, look out early doors for signs of the scintillation of John Thomas Wilson. Well, if first game performances are anything to go by, Taylor and Wilson just uh, about sneak it from uh, Della and Harvey. Their uh, average in their opening game was 82.86. Della and Harvey 79.92. Well, it just needs a couple of good throws. And two uh, consecutive 140s to Wilson and how they love it. Well, Joe Jockey certainly hasn't been uh, taking any bevies. Sticking in water... And it's, uh, he must have been battering the practice board. 50 his manager, Tommy Cox. Here we go, then, I'll call this one in. It's, he's looking at 60 for double 10. Big 20 above the wire, above the... Now a nice inch adjustment, top of the shop. 60. Pulled. Still got plenty of time, Sid. 2.42 going. And uh, Wilson Taylor firing against the darts here. All important, those two 140s from Wilson... Has really uh, told in this leg. Well, about six years ago, when he was in his true prime, he had done this blind standing in a hammock. Double ten. Double five. Good mark. I could get a bump in. Didn't need it. First blood, the wee jockey. Jockey and Mac Taylor. Got a safer jockey there, he carried Phil through that leg, I think Phil will be the first to admit that that was uh, jockey's leg more than his, he got those two 140s, he hit that double five, and he's obviously in better form today than he was yesterday, that starts, that's the way it goes, but of course this fella can suddenly come to life and start hitting the really big scores, a great 140, and uh, he doesn't look as though he enjoyed that, but rest assured jockey did. Well that's the new... Who's free, Jockey Wilson? I mean, he uh, has, on medical advice, laid off 
alcohol for nearly 100. a year. And he is now treating darts like the firm business he used to. He's the first to admit he's a bit silly with the sauce sometimes, John, but uh, he's now very businesslike and professional about his entire game. 100. Good crowd here again today. Thomas Shanters and all. 100. Oh, really excellent here. And air, and uh, if you wonder why they call it air, it's because it's very strong, very fast, and very cold, and makes your hair stand. 100. Up. You see, I'm get the cobweb shook with air on the early morning in air. A lovely first one. One hundred and forty. Oh, uh, Jamie Harvey. Jockey require one hundred and sixty-one. And I suppose if uh, there isn't is any partisanship between Harvey and Wilson in this game, then I suppose it's more Harvey than Wilson. 41. He's on the west coast. Okay, Harvey require one hundred and sixty-one. Jockey, of course, an east coast man from Fife. So to Della here, an east coast man, but from all the way down in Ipswich. Eighty-one. Do we require 120? 120. 61st, right. yeah, shot's on. Just above it. Now, this would really shake the joint. Tops. 100. Lost it in the last two inches of the Jamie trip. require 80. It's just uh, Della and Harvey have got to get this because uh, it's not often you see Jockey Wilson miss double 10. One time you could have put your life on it. 75. He's really. Only with two darts in his hand, gotta go 25 balls, surely. There's no other way. Now Sky, that's a good lie for the bull. Good lie for the bull. It is. The black bit waits. 44. Well, he got the black bit, but it was the wrong bit, said. Yeah, case of the black spot. Jockey requires right. 20. John said he could do this once. Easy as falling off a table. Double five. Ooh, again, he limit the right hand end of the bed. Dip 15. For in. Casey requires 36. And double 18. Della wants. Yes! Game show on second leg. Jamie Harvey, Keith Teller.